Okay, babies, you already know it's Virgo season and I am super excited because my Virgo baby, Dominic, turns four tomorrow. So happy birthday, Dominic. In light of it, I always feel better and more in a shopping mood when I look good. So I went ahead and put on this beauty courtesy of Van Love Hair. I'm gonna show you how I install her from start to finish. I'm about to go ahead and pick up some last minute goodies for her. I gotta order her balloons. Tonight I gotta fill up the entire house with like 100 balloons so her room is filled with balloons all over the floor. Do her tablescape, wrap the presents because she requires she requested that I actually wrap gifts. She said, I want to open presents. She didn't want the gift bags like I typically would do. So I have a busy day and I have to rebraid Dakota's hair. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the install. Oh, uh, we got a spider up here. No rush. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the video. Be sure to check her out. I do have a direct link in the description box. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. Okay, ladies, here is the star of the show. Today we're going with this 13 by 4 Kinky Curly HD Lace Wig. She is 26 inches in length, and this is the look at the inside construction of the cap. I love that this one is a free part, so you have freedom to part from ear to ear, side to side. Here is the info card, and as you guys can see, I'm just going to go ahead and pull that off. I'm also going to cut the excess lace in the back, adjust the straps in the back as well as the elastic band. Now that it, that is secured, let's go ahead and put the wig on. You guys already know I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on straight out of the box. And this is our beauty here. One thing I want to note that it definitely had a snug fit. I love the density on this one, the texture, the length, everything about this one is amazing. And you guys already seen the beautiful transformation in the intro as well as the thumbnail. So I definitely wanted to make sure you got a great texture shot of the back of the hair. So you guys can see the versatility. You can definitely wear it like this you can wear it combed out in a fro style and of course you can wear it in the curly style you'll see in just a moment here is a look at the parting as a center part this one will also be beautiful as a half up half down look I definitely want to try this look out in the future then of course you can do like a side part or a flip over you definitely have options and range as far as how you want to style her but for now I went ahead and put her in a half up half down with a bun so we can get to work for starters I'm going to go ahead and just cut off all of the lace around the ears this is going to give the wig a snug fit you guys can see how she now hooks my ear like a glove for sure you have to do this step because you don't want the wig to like cover your ears and be bulky this also is a thing that is going to be custom to each person while we do have different size and shapes of heads one person may need to cut off more um, and somebody else may need to cut off less so definitely do this step for your clients with the wig on their heads now I'm going to go ahead and prepare the hairline Today I did want to tweeze out the hairline really good and sometimes just making sure that those follicles are super straight is going to make it easier to tweeze them out. Now we're going to go ahead and tweeze. I am using a nice good sharp pair of tweezers just taking my time and going from one side to the other. I did do a great job at thinning it out. Of course it did come pre-plucked but it's always nice to add your own flair to your units. And this is what it looked like when I was finished and of course I did go in a little bit more. Now we can go ahead and cut off the excess lace. Now we can go ahead and cut off the excess lace. I'm just using a pair of hair scissors. I do need to purchase a fresh pair. I've been meaning to for a while now because mine have been getting pretty dull I've definitely gotten my cost per wear out of mine but they still do the job they just aren't as sharp as I would like for them to be and I did cut off all of the ear taps so that it can just be a simple and easy install you guys see this one does have a great fit to it so this is one that once you go ahead and bond it down and get it kind of tacky throughout the day when it's time to do like carpool in the mornings it may be a little bit easier for me to just sit her on my head like a hat and it just kind of work out you know for me to be able to get from point a to point b but obviously the best way to wear it is going to be to go ahead and melt that lace down here I'm just pulling out some baby hair so that I can do you know a cute little snatched Instagram style hairline now I'm going to go ahead and add a melt belt on top we're just going to allow this one to dry while we work on the ends I did go ahead and just comb out the ends because again this is a kinky curly wig so you want to make sure you kind of like detangle before you start the process also I did a great job with um plucking the hairline so you want to make sure that you get all the extra hair out my snack today is the super soft licorice from Trader Joe's it's so bomb and this is the liquid 
we're doing. Since the hair is a nice full density and it's super curly, I did want to work in sections to make sure I got the maximum results. I'm going for a little combo. I'm using the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration Conditioner um, with the Lada Body Mousse. The combo of the conditioner with the mousse has been my favorite lately, especially with my thicker and more tightly curled units because it definitely goes in and moisturizes to perfection. You can also like Shirley Temple curl the ends with their finger to give an even better look. Another option is also to diffuse. I did do water to saturate the curls and then I added the mousse and then I added the conditioner on some and then with some pieces I did the opposite. I kind of wanted to see what worked best. I liked for the hair to be saturated wet before putting the cream on so I did like using the mousse first so I didn't have to use as much water. I'm definitely using the dimming brush to go in and truly get a good style on the curls which absolutely worked out and you guys can see how much product I use. You definitely don't have to use as much product. You don't have to use any product at all. This was just a preference to really really go in and set the curls. Once I finished the complete side it was still moist so I went in and just dim and brush and clumped all the curls together on the entire side. And then of course I'm going to do the opposite side off of camera but here is a before and after of what it looks like dry versus what it looks like dialed. And then I did the opposite side off camera and I'm going to show you guys what that looks like from the back again i did od on the product but this is great because i'm not going to have to add any more product throughout the week in the meantime the hairline did go ahead and dry air dry on its own which is amazing i'm going to go ahead and finish off that baby hair i trimmed it down and i'm going to trim it down even more as i swoop i'm using the edge control from bdecbeauty.com to go in and make sure we get the perfect perfect curl and then i'm using an edge brush as well to go ahead and get the perfect swoop and you guys can just take your time with this again Again, I like to go ahead and custom trim it as I go and sometimes I will do micro baby hair today I just wanted it to be a lot more full because I knew I was rocking a fuller unit and I do love the way this came out but again the key is to take your time and make sure that you are using a product that works great for you now let's go ahead and stamp out the parting at first I had decided I did not want any parting at all which is why I waited to after I did the curls but I did decide after the fact that a little parting would make it look a little bit more natural and so that's exactly what I did now I'm going to pull those pieces back and work on making sure I tint the lace I'm using the Ruby Kisses cream foundation um this is one of the darker palettes I believe this is shade 15 and I'm using the lighter product in there um and I like the way this one matches my complexion with or without foundation I did get a little heavy-handed and messy so I'm just buffing it out and then I'm going to use this oldie but goodie this is the Maybelline Fit me foundation the powder foundation that you could pick up at your local drugstore and i believe this is 370 or 375 my local target only sells up to 360 or 365 so i did have to get this one on amazon to get the even darker shade but i am heavy handed in buffing that in to make sure that the lace is perfectly tinted and then now i'm going to go ahead and do the dynamic duo yes the hair is still damp so i did go ahead and wipe this off after the fact but it's okay it does sizzle a little bit if it is too wet but in this case it was perfectly fine i recommend doing the step on the mannequin head before you even start just to prevent yourself from burning yourself but be cautious that you know it is hot then i'm going to go ahead and re um add the melt belt while i go ahead and do my makeup this is going to help it to set and melt especially that baby hair it definitely is a key step and a game changer and then i did the makeup off camera okay ladies we are done with the look and i beat my face I beat the hairline and it came together right I think I look amazing so let's pull the clips out and pull her forward and see I went ahead off camera and did my makeup I wanted the hair to air dry a little bit because unfortunately I broke my diffuser so diffusing is not an option today and this is the way it looks now I did go in I went ahead and just used some things that I already had available uh, this is one of my favorite holy grail mousses this is the lot of body and then I used it with the hello hydration which is just an OG classic leave or rinse out conditioner that we been using you know for at least a decade on our wigs and even on our natural hair back in the day and this is the combo so what I will say is I still got dry not dry but crunchy ends now in here it's very soft but the ends are kind of crunchy I'm not gonna 
um, lie and I didn't necessarily want the crunchy ends but you guys can see they're beautiful and they are moisturized but I wanted the softer look opposed to like the crunchy look especially because I kind of wanted the diffuse look so I'm just gonna pull it apart and because there's so much moisture I can definitely wet the ends because it's only the ends that are crunchy and that kind of will loosen that up and I got a little frizz in there so um, I'm gonna just take a little more hair because I want a little bit more volume over here so kind of like tease it and play with it I'm trying to avoid using the blow dryer oh it looks so pretty I got on a hoodie and I hate how it keeps riding back okay that is the perfect look that is exactly what I'm going for this one did come from Van Love and you guys seen what she looked like straight out of the box she was absolutely beautiful and then this is the packaging and I've had this one for a few weeks so I'm happy to finally be able to try her out. I believe this is my first time working with this company and it is a pleasure. I really do like their stuff. So I'll show you guys exactly what I got. I'm sorry if I keep looking up because literally she, he, she is over there. Oh this is so cute. So this is like a holographic reusable pouch and I love it because this one is a lot more big so a lot of things can fit into it. Held so I'm pretty sure Dakota's gonna want to use this as a purse especially because it has this handheld piece. The girls are gonna go crazy and try to take this from me. And then this here is a foundation brush. Nicely packaged but it's just a foundation powder brush super pretty super gaudy super pretty i love it it's really fancy so i'm gonna leave it on my desk to powder my nose and then brown wig caps they also gave an edge brush and then one of these wig not wig bands but like a hair headband they're gonna also want that and then they gave me another pair of those wig caps so i did get two and then also they gave me two packs of little you know natural natural look lashes so here is a good look at what the wig looks like absolutely beautiful you could definitely set her as a center part or a side part or no part at all and then here is what she looks like from the back As you guys can hear, my babies are home, so I got them some clothes and stuff from Target, so I'm going to go and share that with them and do a Nordstrom pickup for some shoes, some Uggs, and some native little croc-looking tennis shoes for them. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Be sure to check this one out. There is a direct link in the description box. You can't tell me I didn't slay this one to perfection. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches! Hi, pretty girl!